was in a big car smash as well last year. He's had problems making the weight in the past, but now he says he's a dad. Daughter Harper is his focus, and he wants to make up for lost time. Yeah, he's a good kid, isn't he? He's explosive, but I've always admired his skills, actually. He's a very skillful, talented boxer. Had his problems, most certainly, but hopefully they're behind him now. He's in with the tough lad here uh, tonight. He's won his last five, and he's decent. Uh, but being here, it's like a, a bear pit in, in, here in more called Bethnal Green. And that, that may affect his opponent here, Antonez. But yes, Garner, always been a big fan of his, and I admire his skill. He's exciting to watch, and he's a ticket seller. There's a fair few made their way up from the south coast. He's based in Southampton, trained by Wayne Button, and of course, good old Uncle Frank Hopkins, who's been alongside him since word go. And there's plenty of punches being thrown in this opening round. Kevin Parker being told by Antonez, watch for Garner's elbow, which he says came into effect in that close exchange. Garner here boxing quite sensibly in this opening round, the way he's boxing, because he's keeping the hands nice and high. So Antonez has come back with a couple of right hands, but they've been blocked from Garner. Look, as he's walking forward, look, that's a nice jab, but the guard's nice and high. So anything coming back there is an example there, a right hand from Antonez, but it's well blocked from Garner. Wayne Batten's been trying to instill in Garner the understanding that fights don't have to be won by amazing all-out assault from the word go and that sometimes the long route, the more measured route, is the way to take a fight. He'll have instilled that into him, but Garner's natural inclination is always to get in there and throw the big punches like this. Good injection of pace there from Garner, really put it on, on his opponent. Backing him onto the ropes. Just lost his focus there, got caught. Um, his opponent just turned him. But wild shots from Antonez. And I should imagine he's fairly dangerous, but like I said, Garner up to this stage, keeping that guard high, blocking the shots, and the better quality is coming from the Southampton man. Tall for a super featherweight, Antonez stands close to five foot ten. And as you heard, he's won his last five fights, in fact took his Spanish title in his last appearance. Runs a grocery store away from boxing. Good work from Garner in the last few seconds of a fairly dramatic opener. Who you got next? You know, quite frankly, I think this is taking way too long. Oh, lad. Who you got walking it all out? That'll be us, Eric. Give any game an epic boost and get up to twice the prize when you build your odds. Hey. Who you got? William Hill. It's who you play with. Welcome back to a hot night at your call. Ryan Garner in the red shorts, really going for his Spanish opponent. Good work here from Garner, putting the pressure on, going through the gears. Lovely straight left hand there, work from him. Kept Antunes in that corner. Good work from him, won the first round. Yeah, first round to Garner. It's a ten-rounder, this, for the vacant WBC international title. See, the ring position is better for Garner. When he backs up Antonez onto those ropes, the taller man in Antonez, he can't use the height and reach, his feet come square, his body then, his target area is full onto Garner, so he's taking advantage. So Garner's boxing well here, good tactics. Antonez has got to stay central more in the boxing ring space to maximise that height and reach. You notice Ryan's tattooed arms. He's got pictures of Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson and Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, three bad ones. No, not at all. Oh, nice defensive work there from Garner also. Just slipping those shots. I think Antonez will care, carry a fair bit of weight in those swings. But the shots that he's throwing. He gets li good leverage in his punches, but it's a bit inaccurate. And like I said, he's all over the place. His footwork is, is, is bad, John. The way he keeps um, getting back onto those ropes and the feet come square. 
Garner nice and compact and he's boxing his way into range there's nothing being flung in from range out of desperation but when he gets in range lovely right uppercut in there he's making the most of the opportunities that come his way doesn't want to get complacent though as he's walking forward still keep half an eye on avoiding the shots as you're going forward better work from Garner Kiko Martinez, another Spaniard who fell, held a world title recently as one of the smaller fighters, who was the IBF featherweight champion, beat Kid Gallagher in 2021 before losing the title to Josh Warrington. He's good again from Garner. Yes, he's boxing in bursts, isn't he? He's landing some good shots, and the hands are nice and high again, tucking in the, the elbows also, so he's blocking shots after he's landed his own that's good work and the eye-catching flurries which will surely be catching the eyes of the judges that's better from Martinez battling back trying to return fire with fire a little bit of a look into his own corner there though wasn't yeah. there as much as to say how do I stop this guy well I think he's quite inaccurate though John with his work a lot of the time Martinez I think the better words from Garner even at long range with the jab occasionally it falls short but he closes the gap very quickly and then gets to work mid-range short range on the inside it's been all Garner up to now these body shots from Garner are starting to get to the Spaniard a bit and that's a conclusive round to Garner the season is finally here and those opinions keep on coming what are you forgetting I managed the master in Europe master <laughs> You are dreaming, big beast. We've got no chance this year. Listen, silence, are key. You get them right, the title's ours. Absolutely no chance. Whatever your opinion, at Skybet, you can get a completely free bet to kick off your football season. Skybet, that's betting better. Well, that was a, another really good round for this fella. Ryan Garner. Instructions coming from Wayne Button. Really close trainer fighter relationship, those two. And Garner had a good round there, Richie. Very good indeed. Pressure on that front foot. That's how he closed that gap down with that jab, you see. That's, that's good boxing from him. If he misses the target, the feet are in fast. Then he does his better work at mid and short range. Wayne Button reckons that Anchez represents a step up in class for Ryan Garner but I just thought there were signs even at this early stage in the second that the Spaniard was struggling with the weight particularly of the body shots of Garner well he's gone off at a terrific pace as Ryan Garner it's whether he'll be able to keep this up this is a 10 round contest remember and Antonez obviously taking shots tiring himself but can Garner maintain this pace? Antonez being told off for Antonez being told off for grabbing hold of his man illegally. Punch from Garner straight low, but he switches the attack to the head effectively. Yeah, Antonez has got to watch what he's doing here, John. The way the way he's boxing, he's taking so many risks, letting Garner get through on the inside and work into the body. His feet come square. feet applauding his fight to Ryan Garner and now the end could come here right here in the third because Garner's going to work he's looking to take out the Spaniard right now and the referee Kevin Parker is poised one more big punch might be enough 
He wants to see something coming back from Antonez. And there comes a punch, and not before time. Garner's put a tremendous effort here in in this third round, but he cannot get him away. One more big shot, maybe. Oh, he's waiting. It's over. It's all over. And Garner gets a brilliant win. His legion of supporters celebrate. He's hugged by his delighted trainer, Wayne Button. And tonight, he was very, very good. That was a terrific display from Ryan Garner. We said it at the start of the round, can he maintain this pace? He didn't maintain it, he went up another level. Caught his opponent with a cracking shot that put him to, to the canvas and then just kept it going, sustained the pressure. It was his accuracy, it was the work with the jab, it was the work on the inside. And it was also that defensive work that made it so impressive. An overall display, very, very good indeed. Let's have a look at it here as he's coming forward. There's that right hand through the middle there. Then he just tries to avoid the shot. But knows he's got his opponent in trouble here. He senses the victory. So he maintains the pressure. Keeps it going. Left hand goes through. There's the right hand. Turns his opponent. There's a cracking right hand there. And then he knows that the finishing line's in place. And that's the one that put him to the canvas. After that, he kept it going. He put Antonis into the corner. Two fists to the attack, maintain the pressure. The referee jumps in. It's a good shape from the referee. Nothing coming back. That's a good victory for Ryan Garner. Really was. We said before it began that this is one very, very exciting young fighter. 25 years old. Antonez took it to him, but Garner had every response. All action. Terrific variety of punches and the sustained attack that took him out and the chance now of Ryan Ryan sure will be music to his ears and there, there they are look Wayne Batten and uh, Ryan Garner just speaking to Frank Warren yeah it's a good display and Antonez had a three and a half inch um, height advantage there John but he was never allowed to use it Garner was better with the footwork the tactics were spot on back your opponent up onto the ropes make him come square switch the attack body and head his accuracy and timing were perfect tonight Ryan Garner that was a real good display but the, the tactics from him in backing his opponents up I think was key and Antonez just couldn't find the center of the ring and yes that's a good display indeed he admits he's done some silly things in the past but at the age of 25, he realizes that he has to make the most of his considerable ability. And tonight, he did. Here's Dev Sani. Ladies and gentlemen, at the time of 2 minutes 18 seconds in the third round, your referee Kevin Parker calls a halt to this contest. Therefore, your winner by TKO. And you! Super featherweight champion Ryan the Piranha Garner! Ryan Garner is a really exciting fighter. He's a crowd pleaser, he's a big ticket seller, he's improving physically.